Hello friends, <clears throat> so I've been asked a question and I'll share it with you because I think everyone could relate on some level and that is in regards to maintaining relationships, deep and meaningful relationships with people when topics arise and issues come forth where you just don't see eye to eye with them and sometimes that can be the catalyst that leads towards tension and the lack of harmony um, and you know drifting apart particularly when there's a strong conflict <clears throat> and the inability to arrive on a shared agreed view so how do you deal with that <clears throat> so surely the place to look is in the Torah where in this week's parsha Moshe Rabbeinu shares some sagely advice you could call it marriage advice you could call it relationship advice um, but let's take the advice for what it is <clears throat> so Moshe is dealing with a challenge on hand and that is here you have the Jewish people who are living physical lives in the physical world um, and are you know all too familiar with the physicality of everything around them their need for eating drinking sleeping uh, ambitions within the physical world <clears throat> yet it's asked of them um, and expected of them to relate to godliness and spirituality which is quite different to you know everything physical um, and in, in the godly perspective it's about clinging to to godliness making the world a more spiritual and godly place uh, which can often be in contrast with the viewpoint of your everyday human being so how do you deal with that contrast so Moshe Rabbeinu says I've got a piece of advice for you twice a day take your hand and cover your eyes and recite the Shema and by doing so it allows you to for a moment despite the fact that we have different views and we see the world through a dis different lens put that aside for just a very brief moment and try to put your, yourself in the shoes of and see the world through the lens of the person that you're looking to connect to in this case God Almighty and allow that to just resonate for a moment um, and do that a couple of times and that is a great mechanism uh, and a tool for allowing a person to see things from another perspective so if that idea resonates I encourage you the next time you're uh, having different or opposing views to somebody that you care about deeply um, and you'd like to try to work towards finding a resolution uh, around that conflicting view, try Moshe's uh, sagely advice um, and close your eyes for a moment, physically or metaphorically, and try and th see things and understand things through the lens and through the eyes of that person um, and how they see and understand the world and everything that flows on from there. Um, and then open your eyes again and, you know, see if that might help um, and share some perspective um, as to where a middle ground or a happy medium might land uh, and, uh, and take you both. So Shabbat Shalom. I wish you all well uh, and look forward to seeing you all very soon.